Death sucks. But what happens to your body after you die is fascinating. So we're going to show you. Don't worry, it won't be gross. Much. Once a person's breathing stops, the cells in their body stop receiving oxygen. But the cells continue to live for several minutes, generating carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is acidic, and it builds up, rupturing sacs inside the cells. These sacs contain enzymes that begin to digest the cells from the inside out. This creates a blister-like fluid rich in nutrients. After about a week, those nutrients fuel an army of bacteria and fungi that further liquefy organs and muscles. The microbes that attack the tissue produce a bewildering array of more than 400 chemicals and gases. They include Freon, that's right, the coolant found in refrigerators, benzene, a powerful component in gasoline, sulfur, which smells of swamps and rotten eggs, and a molecule known as carbon tetrachloride, which was used in fire extinguishers and dry cleaning until scientists discovered it's highly toxic. At this point, there's very little flesh left, and it's consumed by, here it comes, maggots and beetles. The insects leave only bones behind. Over time, the protein in bone decomposes too, leaving just the bone mineral called hydroxyapatite, which eventually turns to dust. We can take some solace in the fact that all those nutrients and chemicals, even the dust, provide vital substances that make soils fertile, sprouting plants and other new life after our lives have ended. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust.